to my channel Addicted Soul. I have been using the basic fountain pens empowered with steel nibs all my life. But now I really wanted to try something different. I started my hunt for distinctive pens around two years back. I did a lot of research on the Indian and international fountain pens with different styles, features and nibs. Around a year and a half back, I was first introduced to this brand of fountain pen. I went to a guy's place who sells pens and I told him my requirement. He showed me certain pens with 14 karat gold nibs which I had not seen before in my life. This pen caught my eye and to my surprise the guy offered me an astonishing deal on this pen which I grabbed immediately. This pen looks very traditional, conservative, conventional and have a classic profile. The vintage look is tempered by the mesmerizing dark chocolate brown color of the lacquer with golden sparkles of stars dusted throughout with aureate orangish metallic shimmer. It presents just one color but it reflects thousands of nuances depending on the illumination and surroundings. He told me that the pen comes with either gold plated or chrome trims. I personally felt that brown and gold goes hand in hand but the only option available was chrome version with no extravagance packaging and literature. Without caring about anything, I just fell in love with this pen and its nib and I purchased it immediately. Today, I am presenting you a detailed review of this stunning fountain pen which is indeed congealed, weighty, convincing, trustworthy, durable, dazzling and alluring. This is a German product which are genuinely exceptional with their classic, no-nonsense, unique and admirable designs and strong build quality. Some people think that the Germans only produce great composers and philosophers and they don't have masters of fine arts. But today I am here to present you a fountain pen which is tremendously German if we talk about the sturdy, substantial, concrete, traditional rock solid build quality and exceptionally artistic when it comes to the looks and composition. Here I present you a wonderful craftsmanship from Germans. My lovely diplomat, excellence, A2 Marrakesh fountain pen. The exact meaning of the word is Still debated. Marrakesh originally means the land of God, but when they are associating it with this instrument, maybe they want to call it the pen of God, which is equipped with some divine features. Ah. What a performer and what a remarkable pen this is. Simple, plain, generous and modest in comparison to most others. 
excellent value for money like germans say ausgewogen height a kind of fine balance a balance between utility efficacy and beauty undoubtedly this pen delivers all of them let's check out this pen in detail now if we talk about the build quality of this pen the dimensions and the weight the eye catching lacquer is laid over a brass base giving the pen a bit of heave without being too heavy as the pen is made of brass body it is heavier than many pens of this size despite its extra weight however it doesn't really feel that heavy it has a fantastic balance and just sort of nestles itself into the grip without feeling weighed down when posted the pen does seems to be a bit on the heavier side but still remains nicely balanced the length when capped is 5.4 inches uncapped is 5 inches posted is 6 inches and the section diameter is 0.45 inches and the barrel maximum diameter goes up to 0.52 inches whereas the diameter of this cap is about 0.58 inches if we talk about the weight of this pen when uncapped this pen weighs around 30 grams including a ink converter and capped weighs around 45 grams including the ink converter the cap is a push on cap with a new soft close mechanism as you can see this the cap is topped with a silver finial into which is inserted a cream color plastic coin which clearly displays as you can see it clearly displays the diplomat logo in black color the spring loaded clip this clip has a curvy cylindrical fish shape with a small eye cut out in the lower lobe and the clip is solid and springy as you can see the cap terminates in a round silver ring which you can see here which shows the branding if you can see the branding here this is the branding diplomat since 1922 in all caps and on the reverse it says made in germany in lower case inside the cap as you can see this inside the cap there is a white plastic inner cup keep the nib wet when not in use and also helps protect the finish of the barrel if you like to post your pens like this the pen have a metallic gyoshi as you can see this this pen have a metallic gyoshi lacquered brass barrel the barrel of the pen is in a conical shape this 
which tapers to a flat end with a silver medallion finial to terminate the look it seems to be really calm flat bland and simple but absolutely stimulating under the section under the cap the se- under the cap the section is a metal section of tapering lacquered finish black plastic emphasized with a concave silver band at the end of the nib which secures the cap with a satisfying click and the lacquer on this grip is glossy but however had a less rubbery quality more or less rubbery quality that keeps it from becoming slippery during long writing sessions and there is a rubber o ring on the section thread as you can see this section threads there is a o ring to stop barrel working loose and to prevent ink leaks now let's talk about the nib and the feed the excellence a2 gives a feeling that you are writing with a fairly large european medium nib fitted into a decent section which is further attached to a solid barrel producing slightly wider lines this is a dichromatic as you can see this is a dichromatic size 6 nib in 14 karat gold but partially plated and with the diplomat petal logo picked out in gold against a rhodium plated background see i hope you can see this it also comes in steel size 6 nib with options like extra fine fine medium and broad as you can see the nib there is no breather hole which gives a nib a slightly more aerodynamic appearance the nib is stamped with diplomat since 1922 14 karat 585 medium initials i hope you can see this the nib is well finished with nicely leveled tines the 14 karat nib is extremely smooth wet and almost no feedback at all it gives a feeling of buttery effortless gliding or flowing on the paper while writing this gold nib is totally wet and smooth writer compared to the steel nib as one might expect the nib never hard started this nib this nib never hard started skipped or exhibited even a hint of ink starvation i have not experienced even a minimal trouble of ink flow the pen is generous and has unreasonably consistent ink flow the nib has a little bit of springiness while writing and is creamy soft if we talk about the feed the wave shaped feed as you can see this is the feed the wave shaped black plastic feed is of slim profile 
engraved with outright thick and sturdy fins. The nib and feed have been a harmonious and unremitting charm and this is a premium writing instrument at all levels. The filling mechanism if we talk about is a cartridge converter and and comes fitted with a premier original roll-in roll-out diplomat converter. The branding is imprinted on the tank of the converter in black color as you can see this this is the diplomat is written here yeah this it also accepts international size standard cartridges in either long or short formats and being a metal pen it should not be used as a eye dropper if i talk about my likes and dislikes about this pen so first of all i would say i don't have any dislikes about this pen and the nib and if i talk i have to talk about the likes i lionize this pen and love using it as i have already progressed an association with metal bodied indian and chinese pens though comparing this pen with them is a sheer foolishness this pen is reassuringly rock solid robust and attractive and it is one of the most consistently wonderful nibs which is large smooth and responsive with a pleasant feedback the pen feels long lasting and perennial wide comfortable girth with no cap threads above all that stupendo fantabulously fantastical deal that i have captured for this pen this pen comes in a variety of colors and finishes with gold or chrome trims and pen with gold nibs cost around rupees 15000 and the pens with steel nibs will cost around or under say 10000 rupees if i had to conclude about this pen i would say that expensive pens are more or less about substance and finish some manufacturers of exorbitant pens can match the high level of finish as diplomat but this utmost feeling of perpetual quality i have not experienced in any other instrument so far this sense of solidness while unscrewing the barrel the poundage of all metal body the calmness of the beautiful in-house deluxe nib all make a union that is difficult to express it is not a feeling of grandeur but something more adventine precise and unyielding i have been exploiting this vivacious beauty for more than a year now and i enjoy picking it up for my daily writing practice i am completely and totally enamored to have bought it it writes beautifully feels comfortable and is very solidly built what i have felt is that diplomat pens are really underrated for anyone hunting for a great quality good sized 
brass metallic pen and who will not mind the weight this pen had my personal recommendation if i ask myself would i buy a diplomat again the answer that echoes from within is unquestionably absolutely yes so guys this is all for now let's check out some writing impressions of this graceful pen and this beautiful nib so today i have filled this pen converter with krishna volcano doing jungle volcano doing and the color of the ink complements the color of my pen very well As you can see how smoothly the nib glides on the paper and I have not been using fountain pen friendly paper I am just using a normal diary that a common average middle class guy uses in his daily routine. If we talk about the line variations it produce, so let's start from here and see and check out if some line variations are there or not. So as you can see, there are a bit of line variations that this nib produces, and it's a real soft, springy nib. This is a decent wet writer as you can see the wetness test see pretty wet writer and reverse writing if we check is not supported. If we write in reverse then it will be scratchy and dull. Ink flow is not there and there is no problem with the feed at all. The ink flow is really pleasant and if we check the fast writing So there are no skips, nothing at all. Overall, I would say that I personally recommend this pen who really love to use gold nibs and loves to write with medium to broad wet writers. That's all for now guys. Thank you for watching my video.
video i'll see you soon with another review of a new fountain pen please support my channel like share and subscribe to my channel and if you like my videos please do comment whatever you feel like whatever your queries are whatever your questions are please feel free to put them in the comment section well thank you for now see you soon bye bye take care jai hind manne matram har har mahadev